Okay, my next little project is um, these plugs. I asked uh, Brooke um, for some of these and he very kindly sent me these over. And uh, they are just a bunch of old plugs, spade plugs of the various types taken off uh, some dead bikes or dead looms. And uh, my job is going to be to clean them up. What I want to do is replace ones on my bike that are either cracked, you know, some of them they often, they're often cracked down here, or just in bad shape. And so I'm going to clean these up and then examine them, and uh, we'll see if, uh, see if I can make them look good. So there they are, looking pretty bad. Pretty bad at this point. So let's see what we can do. Oh, I think for the insides here, here, I don't really fancy uh, stripping all these open, so what I'm planning to do is use modern ones. I'll see how they fit. Either those, or I could take some, these are good quality ones here, I could uh, pull them out of there. Possibly those. Well, there's other sizes. You see, you can get these. These ones come in different strengths, different sizes. The red, yellow, and blue. Um, but of course, they don't look the part. But the inside is fine. Uh, what I can't find here is this side. I thought I had some. I've got the round ones, brass ones. But I'll find those. Anyhow, oh, that's a bad one. Look at that one. We'll see if we can clean that up. All right, moving right along. All right, just coming back to this because I'm getting through them. Got quite a few of them done. Found one of them's cracked. Yeah, one of them's got a crack down the middle, which is the uh, same as the ones I'm looking to replace. Um, I just thought I'd get th through this. I've tried various ways to get them off. In the end, it's not that easy, but you've already got to just shove a shove something like this down here on this side and you're trying to get it above like on top of that thing basically like that you want to get it on top of the thing but in order to get it there because from this side it's covered yeah I can sort of do it I think I've got it and then grab the whole thing here and pull. There we go. I think that one actually went in it. Yuck. So again, this one, I'll try and get it in. I'm trying to get it down in between the... Um, what I'm trying to do, by the way, is this. Shoving it down and trying to get it on top of this bit here. So down the middle there, on this side, because it's, it's blocked off like that, with a bit of plastic. So I'm trying to get it down on this side and then spin it a bit, like shove it up there, and then pull, pull the whole thing out. Most of them have come out fine like this. There we go. Seems to work. Oh, here's another one. Um, it's a different one again. There's quite a few different ones. A lot of variations around the bike of these plugs. So I asked Brooke if he could have a look around and just get... I, I sent photos of the different variations. So if you know someone who's got old wiring looms, if this works out, what I'm doing with this video, see if you can get some old plugs. There we go. Oh, there's the, that, was that the broken one? Nope, that one's not split. Now some of these go together too, like this. That's how they're designed to work. They fit together. But not all of them do, and there's slight variations. Here's a different, this is a difference like that. And I'm not sure if this one goes into, into that. That one does. Okay. All right, 
moving right along. Right, I'm just washing out or scrubbing up these things. Jeez, they look pretty bad. I've had them soaking for a few hours. So I've got this sorted out a little bit better now. I've got one of these things folded over three times with an extra bit sticking out and I poke that through the narrow end and the folded over bit goes to the end that's wider on this little stepped piece here. The first bit comes out and the second bit goes through Put a bit of the soak and then I go like that. That works pretty well. And then I have a bit that's folded over four times. And the outside. Just a lot of compressed air to blow it all out. There we go. Pretty good. Um, seem to be two sort of colors, like that or like that. So some are aged more than others, but um, I'll carry on. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this. Um, and we can look it up on YouTube. People doing this with old computer parts, and. Uh, what they're always on about is, you know, what mixture of this stuff. Uh, basically, it's this. It's basically bleach. And it's in a cream so that it stays on the parts. Uh, I think if you could immerse the parts, you could probably not use the cream. Uh, they also go on about UV light. I'm not convinced the UV light serves any purpose. Um, as far as I'm as far as I would guess, it's just the bleach that matters. Um, there is a point though that you can also leave parts out in the sun. Just leave these sitting in bright sunlight for a few days and that will bleach them. That's the other suggestion. Some people have managed to do that. So I think that's where that idea comes from. So it's sort of mixing both ideas. However, you're sticking them in bleach, they'll bleach. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll keep this one out which is a cracked one. I'll just keep it out. It's actually a good looking one. It's not very dark. It's about as dark as the, the lightest ones here. But I could use that as a sort of a control. So I'm just going to put them in here. Stir them around so that I can get the stuff inside all of them. And then I'm going to pour them in a bag. Put it all in this bag. So I can put it out on, the, on a windowsill if necessary. And just so I can hold it and examine the parts easily. So, now this stuff is nasty, of course. Don't swallow. Just put it in your hair. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. Just tap the back of the camera so I can see this. Ah, lovely. There's the money shot. Oh well. Covered them all up. I've got glasses, reading glasses on, so it's just a bit of eye protection from bigger splashes. Just if it does, it's very creamy, so it's not going to splash, but just in case. Okay, that's as intended. Now let's try and get it into here. Oh baby. Yeah. Lovely. I'm just trying to get all the air out pretty much. I don't know if it needs air to react. I guess the oxide's in it, so probably not. Okay, I'll go and wash this out. With lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Get it nice and diluted. Moving right along. It's only been out here for 
45 minutes. It's quite cold, it's not, not a hot day, but the sun's out. And so I was able to get a bit of um, UV on, the, uh, on this. I don't know how much the bag cuts, but one would normally think a bag would actually cut quite a lot. Okay, we'll check on it again later in the day. All right, so I'm back here to finish up this job with these plugs. Uh, the bits in the video before this were from, I don't know, a year and a half or more ago. Quite a long time ago, a couple of years maybe. And uh, I had cleaned up one set of these plugs here. That's that set there. And the result was not that great. I'd only got three of these sets. They're sort of a fairly heavy duty set, pair like that. Got three of those looking good. Got two of these, just uh, single ones. And these are like what you might have on your horn. Um, they just have a little round exit there. Got two of those. And I got the same again, but with a rectangular exit, maybe for double wires, that sort of thing. That's okay. And the rest are a bit rough. And But in the meantime, Brooke actually sent me some more, which was very good of him. And I got four more of these heavy duty ones, but uh, one is like the old ones and then three of them are more more opaque plastic. So not quite the same, same physically, but uh, different looking plastic. So I got those, that's an option. And then I got these heavy duty looking opposite sides for those, but they're different from the previous ones in that the shorter, they've got quite a big lip around this side and around the end there. They've got a round hole instead of a rectangular one at the back. So not identical, but there's two of those. And then I got lots and lots of these ones, which is basically just the spade plug. Simple one, and they had heaps of these on them. And they're all got they've all got a rectangular bit at the back. So it's sort of the equivalent of that one from my last set or this one but it has this the holes not as big as that so there's a whole bunch of those they're all in good condition maybe someone who has bikes later earlier bikes will recognize some of these uh, i've also got four of these ones which are like these ones here with the hole at the back the round hole but much much smaller it's a smaller size plug so there's some of those, four of those, and that's really it. And so the last part of this job, um, I'm going to clean all these up here. Uh, the bleaching process, it sort of worked. It didn't work as much as I thought, and I'm not sure about whether it makes the plastic brittle or not. A little unsure about how that, you know, I mean, some of these are brittle because they were, they're old and they're heated and, you know, just some, crappy old plastic or maybe the bleach has something to do with it as well I'm not sure um, so as for these ones those those are not in need of bleach they can just be cleaned these ones here are pretty filthy but they'll probably come up with cleaning so we'll see about that I may not even bleach them I might just clean them this with this second set just give them a good clean and as for the the metal parts um, over here you can get these things. They come in three colors, like a maroon, a blue, and this yellow. I haven't got the maroon ones, but the blue and the yellow, the only difference between them is the size of the hole where you crimp your wires. The yellow has the biggest hole, and the blue has the smallest hole. So the blue is like for a single wire, and the yellow is maybe for two wires, that sort of thing. So I'll just have, when I, when I use these, I'll just have some of these on hand and I'll, you gotta cut them open like by holding the, holding the thing and then getting into it with a blade that's locked in place and a bit of strength and this is what I'm doing. I'm just cutting down that slot in the middle, just on the plastic itself and then you gotta get past that, that little bit there where it widens and once you're past that if you can get through that it'll just pull apart you 
you know, it'll just pull apart. Well, the plastic ones are thicker than the blue ones, that's for sure. The yellow ones. Ah. There's just that bit in the middle there. Okay, and then we can also see the relative hole sizes of the blue to the uh, other one. So I'll check the red. It's possible the red may be even smaller because then that would suit these ones here, which are a smaller spade. But I'm not sure I've seen those on my bike. There's the small one, I think. No. Nope. Oh, there's the small. That's the small. And that's the normal size. These are quarter inch and those are I don't know what. So that's the difference there. So I'll need to find those. It may be that the red ones are. But you can also, on eBay, you can get bags of these things. And so this is, this is what I got off eBay once when I was looking for this type of thing. Just modern replacements. And the nearest I could get anywhere were these that have these. This is, there's heaps of these on eBay that have these on them. And, you know, they're sort of the modern equivalent of that. But it's not the same. You know, I want to have that. And so... I got a whole bunch of those and then thinking well I'll just use this piece out of it and so in most cases that's what I'll do once you you know you put this on the wire and then you crimp that on the end of the wire and then it slides in there and when it goes in that head sits in there snugly and it'll be very nice it'll be like that so those will be fine or I can use either of these as well not those these, which I've cut open, so I've, yeah, I can buy them here as well. But these are a lot more expensive. These bags cost nothing. But I think these are locally bought ones are a bit more sturdy. So I'm going to use those wherever possible. Um, the difference, though, is that these local ones have this short, this short crimping bit, which is not a problem, but it just looks different from this kind of bit where you've got the extra piece at the back to go over the insulation, which is more like these old ones, which are split into two, a bit on the wire, a bit on the insulation. Um, so I have choices in any case. So when time comes to replace plugs on my bike, I've got a variety of choices and I can do that. I did shove one of them into the um, into one of these holders and that works well. So this bit of plastic has a little little lip in there that holds on to this edge like that. And if I put it in, sorry, there it is. Then I can push it past. There we go. And now it's in there correctly. This is a crappy one of the plugs, so it looks a bit rough. So it's, it's in there and it is held by that little bit of plastic. So that'll work as well. That'll work fine. Um, no problem there. And see, that's now stuck. Okay, it's come out. So all that can be done. Now oh, there's one of those sitting in there. Like that. There we go. Right, what else? Um, last thing, I think if you care about how you do your bike, you should use not one of these for crimping. You should use the proper thing, this thing here. So if you care about it, you should get a proper crimping tool. And the point of these, so they have these jaws, and they're made for these ones that have the two stages, the bit for the insulator and the bit for the, for the wires. And you put them in there. Now you got to, on this one, you got to squeeze a little bit so it fits in and it goes in like that. I'll actually do one. 
And it sits in there like that. This is, it might, I don't know if you can see, it's got sort of two steps to it for the narrow side and the fatter side. Okay. So the narrow side, like that. Ouch. So you get it like that, get it ready in advance, all in the right position. And then you put your wire in and then you can squeeze it down like that. And if this comes out right, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like the real thing. So that's what we want. We want it all done properly. Um, you know, these are more expensive than the old type, but uh, not that much. So I highly recommend it to get something like that. That particular one is from a J car and it has replaceable jaws. So they sell all these different jaws for different types of crimp, you know, networking leads and all that. But uh, I only got the one that was needed. All right, there we go. So that's the whole thing done. Um, I am semi happy with the success. As I say, the bleaching, not entirely sure about that, how, how whether that was worth it. Uh, but the cleaning was certainly worth it. Getting the old plugs, yes, that's worth it because I can replace some on my bike that are, have new plugs. Even the ones I put on my generator, those are new. I put, um, I put these on it. Um, that was one of my first videos. I, I cleaned it up because that's a typical fault. It's always burnt out. So I used those. All right. We'll leave it there. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Comment. You know, someone's got to comment sometimes. It would be nice if it was you. Okay. Bye-bye.